technically it's illegal to walk on the tracks, but apparently it's so popular that there's hundreds of tour agencies that'll take you to this place in the train tracks. And along the tracks there are special little stands and supermarkets just for people who are doing the illegal walk. Authority said don't do that. It is prohibited. But yeah. Lion always like to do. Lion. Yeah, I don't like the man bringing me down. You know. Now it's very dark. I said uh, to Ryan, we should carry lantern. He said no. I we are top guy. He's actually so stubborn. He should be be humble. I advise to him. Okay, part of the package that we got is walking with a guide for two hours, which is my worst nightmare. I have to follow a person with a flag, and I've literally had nightmares about that, and I'm having one right now. Guide will not hurt you. Don't worry. It's amazing that I thought it's great. I came here all jaded and world weary like I've seen so many ruins. I don't know why I gotta pay that much money to come here and wait in line and see one just because it has a fancy name. Because I've been a lot of places where uh, it looks really cool in books but you get there and you realize that that's just one view and it's not as exciting as it looks. But this place everywhere you turn is a freaking picture postcard. This place is freaking cool. You look so pretty. How are you? How are you? I want to kiss you. Okay. Not only does every view look like a postcard, but since we're inside clouds that are constantly moving, every time you look from any given view, it looks totally different. This is like the college campus of the Incas. And the reason it's so hard to get to is because the Incans hit it. They're like, the Spanish is getting all up in our junk. They're taking all our cities. We don't want them getting all up in Machu Picchu and stealing all our, our books and stuff. So they destroyed all the roads. They took away all the food on the trail. So the Spanish are like, I'm hungry. I'm going go back to Cusco. And this thing, it was hidden for like thousands of years. Now the word on the street is that it was discovered by this dude, this professor from Yale University. But that's a bunch of bull crap, see? It was actually discovered by a local guy who, uh, he just didn't tell nobody about it. He finds it, he's like, man, this is a good place. Goes to his family, a couple of friends, he's like, don't tell anybody. We're gonna go live in this ancient city, rent free, tax free, we don't gotta go in the dang army. It's a pretty sweet deal. And they were living here just fine until old Yaley comes along and kicks them out and fills it with 2,500 tourists a day. Those guys are even the ones that named the place. I mean, we don't know what the Incans called it, but when Yaley shows up, he goes, hey, what's this place called? The local people go, hmm, just some old mountain. Machu means old. Picchu means mountain. Old mountain. Machu Picchu. Hello. So Hyunsuk, if you found this place, would you uh, tell everybody, or would you just live here secretly? I live here secretly. Oh yeah, Machu Picchu is a super cool. Oh, it's called the Slama. Live with the Machu Picchu. I wanna live with the Rama in Machu Picchu. Super cool. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha